What's going on guys, your boy Sly here, back at it with another Destiny 2 video for you. And once again, IGN has dropped another exclusive Destiny video. This time, it's another PvP reveal, a new mode called Survival. But, more than just another game mode, we get to take a look at another map as well. The Altar of Flame. Now, if that doesn't sound osiris -y, then I don't know what does. As you can tell, this looks very similar to the Lighthouse and the Burning Shrine. Same Vex architecture, and of course the same planet so it has that orange glow being so close to the sun. Survival sits in Destiny 2's competitive archive of modes. Now if you noticed in the beta there was quick play on the left hand side which consisted of a more relaxed experience and can house a group of solo players. The other playlist is meant more for the hardcore people out there but more so than that it's meant for teams of hardcore players. Matchmaking is always a hotly debated topic so with these new playlists Bungie is hoping to lure the players who think they're the crucibles best into a more competitive mode in hopes that casual PvP players will have a better time in the more relaxed quick play modes. If this works or not we'll have to wait to find out. Alright, so let's talk about survival. Now, as with all D2 Crucible offerings right now, it's 4 on 4. And the way it works is that each team gets a set number of lives, which is 8 in total. That means everyone can die twice before the next death ends the round with a point for the opposing team. It's also possible that I guess <laughs> one teammate could die 8 times and ruin it for everyone, so team play is going to be extremely important here, as well as ability usage, rifts, barriers, and being super slippery as a hunter. Staying alive is going to be of the utmost importance, and as we all know, a 2 on 1 in Destiny 2 is pretty much a death sentence unless you can create two separate 1 on 1 encounters. The first team to rack up 3 points by depleting 8 lives each round wins the match. So if you have 8 kills in round 1, that will earn you 1 point. 8 kills the next round and you will win another point. And even though they didn't specifically say, presumably that means you'll win the match because you can't come back in a game where the first to 3 wins after losing 2 straight. In any event, to make things active and to encourage players to fight, Heavy will only spawn in one location, and of course, it's in the direct center of the map. As you can see here, it's a heavily traveled area and there are sight lines all around you. There are also two flanking tunnels on each side of the heavy ammo just for that purpose, so there will be people all over the place. Now if the round becomes a stalemate, you'll notice a throwback to trials in the form of overtime. A flag will spawn in the middle and the first team to capture it will win. However, if you all get taken out while capturing the flag and you can't finish grabbing the point, then the other team will take that round. So this will physically make you take risks that you probably wouldn't normally do unless forced. So while I'm not really a competitive kind of gamer, this mode looks to be pretty fun guys. It's fast paced, but doesn't get drawn out forever like a bad game of countdown. It's more strategic, less running and gunning, and I can definitely get behind that kind of playstyle. The map itself isn't really anything all that special, however there are some questionable areas here, including what looks to be some kind of teleporter area or a vex type of gate. You can hear it hum, and if you look on the floor, Vex milk seems to be flowing towards it and powering it up. Now there have been secrets in PvP maps before in Destiny 1, and given that this map has the mysterious Osiris and Vex elements to it, there could most definitely be something hidden here. But in any event, that is about it Guardians, nothing mind blowing, but a new PvP mode is always a nice addition. Add the fact that we're going back to Mercury and in a new area. I would say that PvP is starting to intrigue me more and more in Destiny 2, whereas in D1, I really was not a fan. But that's it for me, ladies and gents. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and for your continued support of the channel. Keep being awesome, everyone, and be sure to spank the thumb, leave a comment, and if you could be so awesome as to share this and all of my videos. Sharing goes a very, very long way in getting channels off the ground, so any help from your part would be awesome. Take care, Guardians, and be sure to keep those eyes peeled for more Destiny 2 news and videos coming out here very soon. But until then, this is your boy Sly. Later, y'all.